It is time to talk about the big one, interviews. My name is Kent, and this is your Half Hour Call. Attention cast and crew, this is your Half Hour Call. Half hour to the top of the show. Half hour. Alrighty, friends, we are back with yet another episode of the Almost Complete Guide to Stage Management, and today we are continuing our series on getting jobs as a freelance stage manager. This time, we are tackling the task of interviewing for stage management positions. Interviews can feel like a high-stakes, stressful situation where your entire future is on the line, especially if you're an early career stage manager interviewing for a dream job or a dream company to intern for. It's a very vulnerable position to be in. No one likes rejection or being judged, but I promise promise with a bit of preparation, practice, and repetition, pretty soon you will be interviewing like a pro. Plus, make sure you stick around until the end of the video where I will share with you my secret to having a successful interview every single time. For real, I'm not a joke, every single time. But if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Kent and you are watching Half Hour Call where we're dedicated to shining the spotlight on technical theater. So if you want how-to videos, interviews with industry leaders and insider theater updates, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss another video. So you've made your resume found a job, sent a cover letter, and now the hiring manager has reached out to you about an interview. Congratulations! The first thing to keep in mind is that an interview means that the hiring team is actively interested in you as a candidate. Depending on the job you're applying for, there could have been hundreds of submissions and they're only interviewing a small handful. Plus, in my experience, theaters really only interview candidates that are qualified for the job that they'd be okay with hiring, and the interview process is more about finding the right fit. Take a moment to bask in that success before you hunker down and get to work. Have you enjoyed the moment? Great, because now it's time to prepare for the interview. Step one is to research. The outline for the research portion of this video was inspired by this comment by Amanda Spooner. For more from Amanda Spooner and how to learn from her at Ithaca College, check out the links in the description below or the video linked above. Number one, research the theater company. What kinds of work do they do? How long have they been in operation? Do you have any connections with the company and can ask around about them? Number two, research the specific show. Is it a new work, a remount, a musical? What are likely to be the biggest challenges with this specific piece of theater? And how would you use your skills and experience to mitigate those challenges? Number three, research the hiring manager, whoever that may be. Is it the producer, the production stage manager, the production manager? For internships, it may even be the educational director. Will you be working directly with this person and do you have any contacts that have worked with them either at this theater or at another theater? Number four, if the listing is still up, read through the job description or contract details. What's the start and end date? If it's an equity show, what contract is it on? Is housing provided? Travel? Are there any surprises or ambiguity in the job description? And finally, number five, research yourself. What does the hiring manager already know about you? What can they find online? Also, look over your resume to refresh your mind on specific projects from the past. Remind yourself of what you want to highlight in the interview. Research will not only make it easier for you to tailor your answers to the project you're interviewing for, but it'll also help you come up with questions to ask them at the end of the interview. For phone interviews, I like to have the job description or job posting, the theater's website, my resume, and my website up in front of me during the interview. Also, don't spend hours upon hours researching for every single interview. Most of this information that we discussed earlier can be found within about half an hour, but it helps to know what you're looking for. And now it is time for the interview itself. In my experience, most interviews are held over the phone or over Zoom, especially since it's so common in our industry to hire people from out of town and house them for the duration of the project. After a brief introduction and perhaps an overview of the theater position and project, you'll generally enter the question period of the interview. What kinds of questions can you expect? Well, generally you can divide them into three categories. Stories, scenarios, and style. The first is fairly straightforward and is the most classic form of stage management interview questions. Stories are about a specific incident or challenge and how you faced it. Tell me about a time when something went wrong and how you handled it. Tell me about a time where you dealt with an interpersonal conflict between two company members. Tell me about a time you made a mistake. What happened and what did you learn from it? Think about the most eventful or memorable or challenging moments in your career so far, and odds are one of those will fit the question being asked. Keep in mind, especially if you're an early career stage manager or student, that these answers don't actually have to be restricted just to theater. The second type of question is the scenario question. 
These are similar to the story questions, but are about a hypothetical situation that has not actually happened. I mostly encounter these in corporate settings, like for theme parks and cruise ships. Here are a few that I've encountered. It's a windy day. You're preparing for a parade when one of the stilt walkers approaches you and says that they're not comfortable performing when it is this windy. The stilt captain has assured you that the wind is not a safety hazard. How would you handle the situation? After your first show of the day, a dancer comes to you and says they've twisted your ankle and can't go on. You don't have any swings available and the next performance is in half an hour. What do you do first? What are three things you would prioritize when giving a tour of the theater and set to the cast as you prepare to transition from the rehearsal studio to the theater? For these questions, I tend to think out loud until I arrive at an answer. I talk about what my priorities would be, how I would approach company members, and include any additional factors I would consider or more information I would want. Generally, these questions are asked to see your thought process and decision making, not an actual like test where there is one correct answer. The final type of question is the style question. These are more abstract and, for me, the most difficult to answer. This includes things like, describe your stage management style, or what do you want me to know about you? Or, and this is a real question I've gotten, if you were a tree, what type of tree would you be and why? These questions reveal your personality and priorities and let the hiring manager know if you'd be someone they want to work with for the next several months. Especially if the person interviewing you is the production stage manager, it is incredibly important that your personalities mesh. Once again, there's no right answer here, which is part of what makes them so tricky. I've had interviews last 15 minutes or 45 minutes to an hour. It all depends on the project and the person interviewing you. After the hiring manager has asked their questions, they'll usually give the floor to you for your own questions. These can be logistical questions, questions about the job, questions about the hiring manager, anything that you want. Remember that you are interviewing them just as much as they are interviewing you. I usually try to ask a question or two that demonstrates my desire to be successful in the role. Something like, what's a common mistake you see people making in this position and how would you suggest that they avoid it? I'll also ask about next steps and when I should expect to hear back about the interview process. And that's the interview. I'll usually send a thank you follow-up email the day after, but the hard part is over. Then it's just the waiting game, which if we're being honest is the actual hard part. Oh, and I almost forgot, it's time to let you in on my secret method of having a near 100% success rate with interviews for stage management jobs. The secret is to change the objective of the interview to something within your control. You can't control whether or not you get the job, so that's not a good indicator of whether or not you interviewed well. My job in an interview isn't to get the job, it's to give the hiring manager an accurate picture of who I am as a stage manager. That way I can trust them to accurately decide whether or not I'm the right candidate. For example, I recently interviewed for a job that I would have absolutely loved, an absolute dream job. I didn't get it. But I interviewed successfully. Even though I didn't get the job, I showed the hiring manager what I bring to the table and made a genuine connection with them that may lead to future opportunities, maybe even a future half hour call episode. And while it sucks to not get a job, every interview is one interview closer to your next gig. What have been your favorite interview questions you've ever been asked or that you've asked of others? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. My name is Kent, and this has been your half hour call. Find the perfect gift for the stage manager in your life at the Half Hour Call store. Now with free shipping on all domestic orders. New products added frequently. Visit KenJamesCollins.com store to shop now.